O God. Let your word come with power today, O God. Let your word come with clarity today. Father, we are here. Let our hearts be filled with your word and let it overflow in our lives. Make it a great difference upon our children and upon everybody who comes our way. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Hallelujah. Let's just pray for our children. Since they'll be going to school next week, we just want to cover them with the blood of Jesus. In everything they are going to do, let them excel. In everything they are doing, let us see the hand of God upon them. Let the grace of God be upon them as it is upon the parents as well. We should teach them in the way they should grow. Father, we thank you for the lives of our children. We thank you, my Lord, for these are the next physicians. These are the next preachers. These are, are the next presidents. Father, we thank you for the gift that is upon them. We thank you for their lives. We thank you for their parents. And we thank you for what you are building in this house through our children. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Hallelujah. I just want to sing a song. Just to give glory to God. He has promised he will never fail. I will adore him. I will adore him. He has promised he will never fail. His faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness is forevermore. He has promised, he has promised, he will never fail. I will honor, I will honor him, I will honor him. He has promised, he has promised, he will never fail. He's faithfulness is forevermore. Father, we thank you for this day, for what we are about to hear, O oh God. May it be filled in our hearts, O oh God. May it make a great impact upon our lives. May it show in everything that we do, my Father. Be it on our everyday life, my Father. Be it at work or anyone around us. Father, let your grace show forth in our lives. As we continue to live this life of seeking your kingdom, my Lord, my God, you know that everything pertains to you. We thank you for the gift that you are giving in this house. We thank you for everybody who has made it this far to come around us, O oh God. And for those who are making their way to us this afternoon, my Father, we ask you to pay the good way. We thank you, Father, as we open the service. May we invite the choir to lead us into worship. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May we just go around and get each other in the name of Jesus. Ask your neighbor, how was your weekend? Are you blessed? You all look pretty and handsome. I can see your face is smiling. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is good. All the time, our God is good. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, can you lift your hands to Jesus and say, Father, we thank you. 
Can you love this God some more? This is the first Sunday in the month of April. I thought somebody would be excited. Would you say, Father, I give you thanks. I give you glory. Only you deserve all my praise. My hallelujah belongs to you. We can't do it on our own. Only by, with you by our side. He said it's the same God that makes everything possible in his time. The reason why we are alive is that we might give him praise and worship. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, Jesus. All my fears are gone. And because I know he owes my future. My life is wood, a living just only because he lives. Because Jesus lives, oh God, yeah. I can face tomorrow. Because Jesus lives. All my fears are gone. Because we know. I don't know about you. He holds our future. Jesus Christ the same. Our life is wood. A living just. Only because he lives. Can you sing that song with understanding? Because he lives. Come on, let it make meaning to you. We can face tomorrow. Because he lives. All of years, all of years are gone. All of years. And because we know, because I know, he owes my future. Say, my life is what? My life is what? A living just. Because he, oh, because he lives, because he, I can face tomorrow, yeah. because he lives, all my fears are gone, because I know. Life is what my life is what I live in just because him. One more time, because he lives, because he lives. Lift your hands to Jesus, say we confess to more because he lives, because he lives. My fears are gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because I know, I know, I know, yeah, yeah. Oh, he owes my fear. Say, my life is what my life is living. Only because Jesus lives. One more time, my life is what my life is. I live in because he lives. Sing it one more time. Say, my life is what I live in. One, my life. Oh Jesus, because he lives, you are glorious. So glorious in your ways, Oh, you were glorious. So glorious in your ways. You were glorious to me, Jesus. So glorious 
in your ways. Oh. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. Has God been glorious to you? Come on, lift your voice. Hey. You are glorious. Come on, the loud that you sing it, the better it becomes. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Sing it one more time. You are glorious. One more time, say, you are glorious, oh God, oh. You are glorious, yeah, yeah. You are glorious, so glorious. We call you Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Hey, Yahweh. Hey, you are glorious, you are glorious. So glorious in every way, in every way. Lift your voice, we call you Yahweh, Yahweh. We call you Yahweh, Yahweh. You are glorious. You've been glorious, Jesus. Oh God, yeah, yeah. You are glorious, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are, you are glorious, yeah, yeah. You are, you are, you are glorious, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God, oh God, yeah, yeah. You are not. So glorious, so glorious, oh God, oh God, oh God, we call you Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, so you are glorious, so glorious. Let your glory be above all the earth. So let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be upon all the Let your glory be, let your glory Let it be above all the Let your glory be, let your glory be Let it be above, yeah, yeah, yeah be now exalted, be now exalted, oh Lord, above all. Say, be now exalted, yeah, yeah, yeah. Above the heavens. Say, let your glory be. Glory be upon. 
Let your glory be, let your glory be upon all the earth, all the earth. Say, let your glory be, let your glory let it be above you. Let your glory be, let your glory be upon. I'm desperate for you. Desperate for you. And I, I I'm lost without you. I don't know about you. Lift your hands, everybody. And I, and I say, and I, yeah. Say I'm desperate for you, desperate for you. Lift your voice one more time. Hey, 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 hey. Say, can I say, yeah, and I. Say I'm lost without you, I'm lost without Sing you more time like you mean it Lift your hands to heaven Everybody join me and say Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I You say Hey, 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 hey Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm desperate for you Say, let all king be lifted I Everybody say, oh, Zion. Lift your voice, oh, Zion, unto the king of kings, oh, oh, oh. In the heart. Yes, he does. In the high, in the highest, lift your voice and let the King of Kings be lifted. How about all? She can be the door. Him and all, him and all, say your name, man and all. Hosanna to your name, oh God. Hosanna to your name. Hosanna to your name, Jesus. Let the King of Kings be lifted. Let the host of heaven, let the King be lifted now. King be lifted. We lift your name, and now, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. We call you Hosanna. Hosanna. So let the King be lifted. Let the hosts of heaven, let them be lifted. Emanasha, yana, kominasha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hosanna. 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 Sin, let a king be lifted. Let a king be lifted. Yeah, 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 Lift your voice one more time. Let the host of heaven, let a king, let them be lifted. Hosanna to your name, O God. Hosanna. 
Hosanna, yeah, Hosanna, yeah. One more time, say, Little King, Little King, Little King. We lift your name in above the earth, above the earth. Himano, Sayana, no, Kayana. Oh, oh, oh. We lift it all one time, yeah, yeah. Everybody lift your hands to heaven. Say, we lift your name. Come on, now. So we lift your name in all the earth. Come on, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Tiki, 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 tiki. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. We lift your name. Your name be lifted above the earth. Your name be lifted. Your name be lifted above all our challenges, above all our problems. We lift your name. Your name. Your name. Himano shika mano mano mano. Himano saya na kumyo. Himano sa. Himene ya na kaya mano siya. Himano na kumene na kama na 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 na. Shika mano sha. Above every poverty, above every sickness, your name be lifted up. Above every infirmity, above every problems, your name be lifted. Your name be lifted. Your name be lifted higher, higher, higher. Above every other thing that we know, yeah, yeah. Oh God, oh God, we lift your name. Even though you know, Kayana, no, Siyana, no, no, no. All our challenges, all our problems, your name be lifted. Your name be lifted. Your name be lifted. The Bible says that he made a public show. He made a public spectacle against everything that rose itself against the knowledge of God. I don't know the God that you serve. Oh God, we know you. We know you for who you are. We know you for who you are. We know you for who you are. Your name be lifted above every other name. He said that the mention of my name, every name must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. We call him the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. Money, money, shall be no longer companion. We lift your name. Oh God, oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and oh, yeah, no, no, no. All the things that we experience, even the things that we do not know, He said that He has brought everything to a captive, and He made a open spectacle against everything that we may mention and every trust into His name. He said that I come before you, and I say before you, even an open door that no man can shut, no man can shut it, no man can shut it, and so we lift your name. Everybody say, shout, hallelujah. Lift your voice, yeah, yeah. It's our heavenly language. Hallelujah to the King of Kings, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shout, hallelujah. And at the entrance of his throne, he said, Oh, we my final words. Only Jesus can save her. We come before your throne. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift it all time, shout, hallelujah. Just this one. Himela. Himela. Hokaka. Onye keru. Himela. Thank you, Jesus. Himel. Ezemo. I want you to sing this song with understanding. Have God been good to you? Lift your voice and call and say, Himel. The louder you sing, the better it becomes to the ears of your king. For the father, you can move. You do not need any support. Lift your hands. He's the creator of heaven and earth. Ay, 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 ay. Woman, oh, she am and I call me no shall. Say, Come on, raise it up to the King of Kings. Now you are going to jump like you don't know before. One more time, jump and say, Come on, if you can 
Jum, Jum, but send this go. Oh God, oh God, yeah, 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 yeah. We can take you and all Jesus for everything that you have done for us, oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Lift your voices, Amen. One more time, lift your voice and say, He may, He may, He may, yeah, yeah. Let the heavens hear your voice, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many of you are grateful? How many of you are grateful? He said, He called us out. Hey! Lift your voice and say, He may. Oh God, we worship you today. Yes, Amen. Now, without the instruments, we are going to do this together. Can you just lift your hands to heaven? We are saying thank you, Jesus. Come on, respond. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on now, come on now, come on now. Is that the way you would thank this God? Say, so we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you. Come on, let's sing the song with understanding. Thank you, my Lord. Now personalize it. Say, I am saying thank you, Jesus. Come on now, come on now. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Can I prophesy to you? Can I prophesy to you? And God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He walks in ways we cannot see. He would make a way for us. He will be our guide. He will hold us to his side With love and strength For each new day He would make a way for us He would make a way Now personalize it to yourself One hand on your head Say God will make a way Where there seem to be Where there seem to be No He walks in ways he walks in ways that we cannot see. Only Him can make a way. Way for me. Personalize the say, He will be my guide. Hold me closely to With love and strength. With love. It may not look like what you think. It may not look like what you expect. You probably might have been frustrated. I don't know about you, but lift your voice. He will make. Now together with the instruments, come on, let's it up one more time. You say, God will make up. Where there seem to be no way. Where there seem to be. Jesus walks in ways. Yeah, he walks. That you cannot see. Only him can make a way. Yeah, yeah. Come on, lift it up. He will make a way. So he will be. My God, hold me closely to his side. Hold me closely with love and strength, yeah. With love for each new day. He's gonna make a way. He's gonna make a way. He's gonna wake away. He's gonna make a way. He will make a way. Come on, celebrate Jesus if you've been blessed. This Look for somebody close to you. Give the person a knife. I'll tell them happy Sunday. It's so good to have you in church. Hello? If, if you came here to meet Jesus, push it up, push it up, push it up. All right. We are getting set. You will go around and greet minimum of 35 people and tell them you're welcome to church. If you are standing in one position, you are wrong. Oh, yeah, move, 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 move. 
if you have not gone around to welcome someone, you are making a mistake. Okay, okay. What if I told you that your blessing is tidy, you moving? What if your blessing is tidy, you moving? No, move, move, move. Yep. If you are in one position, you are making a move. Come on. Creator of the universe, come on! What can you do? Hey, go, 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 go. What can you do, Jesus? I don't know the God that you serve. He can do all things. He said only Him can do all things. Did your Bible tell you that with God all things are what possible? Now jump your hands together. Come jump your hands together. Hey, 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 hey! Jump your hands together. Come on, jump. Together, if you're not clapping, you're making come on, 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 come on. If you're not clapping, you're making a mistake. Come on, creator of yours, creator. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Jesus, hey, he's the name above you, say, name above. What can you change? What can you change? Yeah. Come on. Creator of the universe. What can you do? What can you do? Yeah. Hey. Now, he's the name above you. Say, name above. What, what can't you change? What can't you change? All right, all right. Now, you know what? Listen, you are it. Come on, come on. Great and mighty, you say. Great and mighty. You're able. Great and mighty. Great and mighty. Great and mighty. You are able. Great and mighty. Hey, you're able. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Almighty God, you are able. No, you will do that. That is not. Come on, come on. Say nothing you cannot. Nothing you cannot. Nothing you cannot. You are. I put my love in you. You are Jesus. Now you are going to do it again the same way. You are going to jump like you've not done before. Can we do that exercise for the King of Kings? One, two, three. You are it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hebel, 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 say great of my. You are able, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. One more time. Tell you what, hey, da, 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 Great and mighty God. You are able. Hey. There is no, there is no. One, two, three, God. There is no. Nothing you cannot. Nothing you cannot. You say all around, all around, everywhere I look, your love is hey, come on, all around, I want to go, all around, everywhere I look, 
Let's go. Say hard. One, two, go. Everyone, I look. Okay. Now I will teach you the dance step. It's very simple. Can we go together? Everyone, I look yellow. One, two, three. Already, you know the movement already. Come and do it together. Come on, everywhere I look, y'all up. One, two, hold on. One, two, go. Everywhere I look, hold on. Hold on. Everywhere I look. Come on, say head, shoulder, knees, and toe. Say head, shoulder, knees, and toe. Break it down, break it down. Can I have the minimum of seven people in front? Mama, I know you are the one that is leading. You are leading. <laughs> Six more people. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have two minutes. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. But I say, come on, help us, come on, help us. Come on, hey, come on, get it, get it, come on, come on, come on. More people, more people, more people. We are in a hurry, we are rushing, we are rushing. Come on. It's not difficult. The exercise you don't do at all. You will do it here. Say head, shoulder, knees, and toe. Say head, shoulder, knees, and toe. toe. Hey, for your head, shoulder, knees, and toe. For your head, shoulder, knees, and toe. Hey, for your head, shoulder, knees, and toe. Let's go. Say head, shoulder, knees, and toe. For your head, shoulder, knees, and toe. I got joy, joy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, na 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 na. Shaking my na 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 na. Hey, I got do 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 Okay, I know some of you have forgotten. Your response is very simple. We have 22 seconds. Listen, you say. Can we do it together now? Look for a partner. Look for a partner. We don't have time. Now look at somebody. Call and wrestle. One, two.
shot myself and uh, uh, Brato now Scott to settle. Praise the Lord. Now we are talking. Praise Master Jesus. Give Jesus a big clap. Also. Amen. Celebrate Jesus while you take your seat. God bless you, brothers. And now we settled. Hallelujah. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless the choir. Tell your sister, your brother sitting beside you, behind you, welcome to church. Did they tell you, welcome to church? Tell them you are not going back the same way you came. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm privileged to read our confession prayer today. My, my baby girl, she's not here today. So, if you have your Bible, bring it out. Amen. Amen. One of our sisters have said this severally. Sometimes we come here, we, we say our confessional prayer, declaration, but we don't have our Bible by our side. Praise God. Please repeat after me. But you need to pardon me, though, because I, I don't have, you know what I mean? English, British tongue. <laughs> Praise God. My girl, they will speak all their phonics, you know. But I will try my vernacular phonics. Hallelujah. I believe the word of God. It is final authority in my life. Regardless of my circumstances. Regardless of my situation. I believe the word of God. This is my Bible. It contains the word of God. I am what God says I am. I have what God says I have. I can do what God says I can do. I am born of the word. The word of God is my natural habitat. I do not struggle to do the word of God naturally. I am an example of a true believer. God is with me. No man can be against me. Today, I will be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will understand the word of God's grace. By the end of the service, I will not be the same again. In Jesus' mighty name. Can we put our hands together as we welcome Mr. Grace, please? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Grace, and today I'll be reading Isaiah 53, verses 1 to 12. I'll give you some time to get there. Isaiah 53, verses 1 to 12. I'll take my reading now. Who hath believed in our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form, nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of a man, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, 
and with the rich in his den, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering of sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the, ple the pleasures of the Lord shall prosper in his hands. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied by his knowledge. Shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for the Lord God Almighty. Tell your neighbor, if not for the Lord on my side. So you are not here by mistake. I said, if not for the Lord, by my side. Let's give God the glory once more time. Um, I'm here to take the announcement, but before then, let's have it played on screen. Seeing God's children becoming all that God has created them to be and in possession of all things with Jesus Christ paid for on the upper half as we fellowship in the light of God's word. Our mission, where the word of God is thought and preached undiluted and establishing God's children on the finished word of redemption, functioning in the absoluteness of God's grace and not works. Our mandate, raising men and women to be biblically literate and logically sound as they are rooted and grounded in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The moment your understanding of Christ is wrong, your practice becomes erroneous and your belief system becomes faulty. Shore Grace Church Venue, number two, Avenue Street, off Plumstead High Street, Lakedale Road, London, SE 18, 1SB, Sunday service worship time, 1.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are too cool this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said, let's go into the house of the Lord. So only glad people should shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, let me continue with the announcement. Our Bible study is every Thursday. Time is 5.30 to 7 p.m. Now, if you miss this, maybe you don't understand that the entrance of his word gives light. That means there are some things that you are going through that is actually dark. But the, by the time you leave here on Thursday, you are not the same. Because there is illumination from the mind. And that is what God will do for you. So please, don't, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Connect whichever way you have to. God will bless you in the name of Jesus. And our night vigil is every Friday, every last Friday of the month. And for this one, I, I don't need to speak. Because I know God comes down powerfully. And uh, for many of us that will probably take it for granted, the Bible says that when men slept, that means your sleeping will not be unto death in the name of Jesus. But there is a spiritual death. It is my prayer that as you come, the Lord God Almighty will meet you at the point of your need. And one thing I want you to know is this. When you come for night VG and you stand in the gap to pray, Heaven is with you. Heaven with you. Because there are some things you cannot do on your own. But there are some things that come through corporate prayers. So sometimes you probably find out for yourself that why am I so lazy praying? If you come here the first, last Friday of the month, 
And if you join us in prayer, as you realize that your strength will be renewed. In the name of Jesus. Please don't miss it. God will help us in the name of Jesus. Now, our communion service is every first Sunday of the month. And for this, I don't need to tell you that when you break bread and you take the wine, you actually fellowship with Jesus himself. And with that, nothing is missing and nothing broken in your life. It is my prayer that in the name that is above all names, that as you come in with us, you are coming with Jesus. And the Lord God Almighty will renew. The Bible says the quitting quickens are mortal bodies. What that means is that everything within that is dead is about to come alive. And thank God for last week because he rolled away the stone. Oh, I didn't hear you, hallelujah. I said last week he rolled away the stone. And once he rolled away, that means shame is rolled away. Poverty is rolled away. Depression is rolled away in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. The only pastor is shouting. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Choir, shout hallelujah. The Lord that has done it for me, he will do it for you. Because there are some things you cannot do on your own. No matter how you, no matter how you try. It is when you get to that hospital bed that there is nobody to even say, how are you? Then you will know that if not for Jesus, only the living can give him praise. We are not here to hypnotize or tell, tell people or just try and cajole people. We are here because we know God. And because we have an undiluted word for God and an undiluted love for him. Therefore, it is no point trying to gather and gather for fun. We are gathered because there is an evidence. Is somebody here this morning? I said we are here because we are gathered for an evidence. Because God is able to do what no man can do. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Now come October 4th to 6th is our 10th year anniversary. Hallelujah. 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 I, I'm privileged to know a bit about the history. I can tell you that the set man that God has put here has a vision. Even when we were three or four, he would still preach as preaching to millions. Because God is taking us somewhere. For those who don't know, I know very well. He will be preaching and yet he will be wondering. There was a day that one woman just came from nowhere and joined us. And she said that I heard like angels singing. And she joined us for that service. Please, don't take it for granted. Sure grace means that you have an assurance that grace will speak for you. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. So for the 10th anniversary, please, we have a committed amount that we're gathering. Whatever God lays in your hand, if you can do more, fine. You know, but definitely the chairman is not here today, but uh, I'm sure next week we'll probably go through this um, announcement again. And uh, now uh, it is my singular honor to welcome those who are worshiping us for the first time. I have my brother all the way from Manchester, Andre. Andre, you are blessed. Please, please, welcome, welcome. Uh, Madam, I see, Madam, oh, please. You are welcome in the name, in the name of, of the Lord. Lord. You, you are welcome. welcome. You are welcome. Please welcome in them, the welcome name them. Of the Lord. We can see you. We can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Yes, we love you. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, we love you. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. So let us stretch forth our hands towards them and decree that as they have come today, there will be a testimony that they will remember this day that they came to this sanctuary, that Jehovah God Almighty himself will meet them at the point of their needs. 
Please pray for them like never before. Libralu sataligado shanta yari gadas. In the name of Jesus. Yigabu shata yirige. Libra santa yara galega bastante igrige bus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please be seated. Let us give him a hand, please. Uh, shall we rise as we take our heed? Oh, hold on, please. So, sorry, sorry. I think we, I forgot my thing. Now, uh, you can still move. No, no, don't worry. Don't. There is an announcement for the men. Uh, men in the house, please, just wait. Ah, woman of God. <laughs> Men in the house, wave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's see the announcement first. Welcome to Men of Grace, where ordinary men are called to achieve extraordinary things. Remember what the Bible says. Greater, what shall you do? It's not just a promise, it's a challenge. It is a challenge to step out of our comfort zone, to push beyond our limits, and to make a difference in this world. Together, we are stronger. Together, we can achieve the impossible, brothers. Let's not just survive, let's thrive. Let us rise as men above the challenges, step out in faith, and keep moving in faith. Life's currents may try to pull us under, but we are not destined to drown. We are destined to soar. Believe it, embrace it, and live it in Christ. But through Him, we are capable of greater works. Men of Grace cordially invites you to our quarterly interdenominational breakfast meeting theme, Greater Works. A time of undiluted teachings, networking, prayers, worship, and a breakfast buffet as kings as we are. Ministering Bishop K.O. Day Salam. Leader, trainer, IT consultant, and faith in the market advocate. Executive director with John C. Maxwell team. Minister Yemi Akinwami, real estate consultant and worship leader. Pastor Evan Oak, advertising consultant and music director. Apostle Fred He the Hen, a legal practitioner and entrepreneur. Sure Grace Ministries, the host. On Saturday, 27 April 2024, from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., venue, Show Grace Ministries 2, Abbey Street, off Plumstead High Street, Lakedale Road, London, SE 18 SB. It's all free. Kindly register at www.eventbrite.com. For more information, email contact at shoregraceministries.org or visit www.shoregraceministries.org. Register now. Limited spaces available. Men of Grace. Strength in unity. Purpose in Christ. You can put your hands together. You can do better than that. Yeah. Honestly, by 12 this night, registration room will open. And a lot of people have been calling me already. Is he, is, he, is he on? Is he on? Is he on? Because we are going to feast like kings in the name of Jesus. And above all, you will see transformation. Men that will stand. They will stand the test of time. Men that are providers in the name of Jesus. No longer shall you sit down. There will be a lifting. Because there is an oil upon your head. And that's why the God, God has made you the head and not the tail. So there will be, see, those coming, they are loaded. And I can tell you, in this house, like never before, you will see a change. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you happy to be in the praise of God? Amen. I'm excited. Let's rise up our hymn. God sent his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love. Is that too brutal? 
And we celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. The time has come. Thank you. The time has come. The moment we've been waiting for has come. Put your hands together as we invite our Papa, our mentor, our teacher, Apostle Frederick Ibehan. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. Yeah, put your hands together for Christ. Thank you, Father God. Please be seated. God bless you. Father, we give you praise. Mighty God, we honor you. King of kings, we give you glory. Be thou exalted, O God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Jesus reigns. Hallelujah. Jesus reigns. He reigns. And he reigns. Hallelujah. Jesus reigns. Sing it like a minute. Hallelujah. Jesus reigns. Glory. Jesus raised, he raised in me, and he raised in you, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, glory, hallelujah, Jesus raised. Father God, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we give you praise. I want to celebrate our newcomers. Thank you for joining us. God bless you real good. We didn't take your presence for granted. Matter of fact, you are a special guest to us. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for coming, sir. And uh, thank you for coming, ma. God bless you. Amen. Our brothers and sisters online, thank you for joining us. God bless you real good. And I believe that the Lord God Almighty will bring you a word for the times and for the season that you are in. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Sure Grace Ministry is a place where we dwell and we feast on the word. We don't feast on water. We don't feast on sand. We don't feast on formulas and all kinds of practices that is all over the place today. But we believe that we came into Christ with nothing. So we have to stay in Christ with nothing but the faith in what Christ had done. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. No formulas. No any kind of, uh, you know, kajo. No, we don't do that. We believe in the word. The word of God is potent and is powerful enough to bring about what God has said. Praise be the name of the almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Every sacrifice that you needed for your safety, for your deliverance, and for your victory, Christ brought them. Every sacrifice, every item for the sacrifice. God brought them. Praise God. So you don't need to bring nothing. All you need to bring is your faith in what Christ has done. And don't worry about your faith. Even if it's like a mustard seed, it will produce. It will produce. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Uh, without wasting much of our time, please take our Bible to the book of Isaiah. Let's see. Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. I'll take my assignment from verse 1 to 5. Isaiah 53. <clears throat> Isaiah 53. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Who had blessed our reports and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of the dry ground. He had no form, no comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and uh, acquitted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he had bore our griefs and uh, carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, uh, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for my transgression and your transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. I don't know what you're dealing with today. Your healing is guaranteed in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know, speak with us on a subject. I am saved because he gave it all. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Mighty God, we give you praise. Abba, Father, we honor you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the Ancient of days. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. You are the ruler of the universe. You are God, the Almighty, who dwells and moves and rules in the affairs of men. There's none to be compared with you. Many have said in their heart there's no God. But the Bible says that it is only a fool that says there's no God. You exist, O oh God, even before the age and time. Thank you, Father God in heaven. You are the God, the Almighty, who make the heavens and the earth. You step out of time, created time, and yet manage time, not bound in time. Father, we give you glory. When the enemy were in hot pursuit of, your, of, of the Israel, of the children of Israel, the Bible says before them, O oh God, was the Red Sea, and behind them was the chariot of Pharaoh. And they thought they've come to a dead end. But you are the almighty God who is limitless in wisdom. Mm. Mighty God in heaven, by the breath of your nostril, as the psalmist declares, you parted the Red Sea open. Uh, and every child of Israel went through a dry ground. And the same place, oh God, uh, uh, where you brought deliverance became a water grave unto the enemies. You are our great deliverer. Blessed be your name, oh God. Father, we thank you because you are our Father, our Lord, and our God. Oh, praise be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Bible says, unto you shall the gathering of the people be. Take control. Throw your weight around. Let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus Christ's mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise be the name of the Lord God. Oh, Shanta Bahondos. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, for the benefit of uh, some of us who might be hearing me for the first time, I'm a teacher of the word, you know, uh, and uh, I will just teach you, praise God, you know, open your eyes to the revelatory word of God by the grace of God and strengthens you into victory. Glory to God. Uh, I'm speaking on a subject. I am saved because he gave it all. Glory to God. I am saved. Please let me tell your neighbor. I am saved because Christ gave it all. Uh, I am saved because Christ gave it all. Glory to God. And uh, let me tell your next neighbor that the message is to, this message is to strengthen you. And not to weaken you. I have to quickly ask us to say that. Why? Because the book of Isaiah is such that if you are not careful, you're going to think that you are in judgment. Uh, praise God. Now, the book of Isaiah is a prophetic book. Uh, it's, uh, its prophecies uh, hinges on warnings and hope. Glory to God. 
warning that Israel will face, you know, consequences of their rebellion. However, the day comes when God will restore his people to himself. Follow me carefully. Uh, in other words, God is both the judge and the savior, which means that God has a plan. Praise God. God has a plan to make all things right in the end. So I don't know what you are dealing with. There's a plan for escape. There's a plan for escape in the mighty name of Jesus. Anytime you are dealing with God, you never, ever come to a dead end. Uh, it's practically impossible. When you look at your Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you never come to a dead end. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you study the book of Isaiah, there is an outstanding difference between chapter 1 to 40 and chapter 41 to 66. There's a, an outstanding difference. And uh, uh, taking, into, taking into account this uh, account, uh, the theologians came to the conclusion that uh, there had to be two Isaiahs. Because when they look at chapter 1 to 40, it speaks heavily in a different dimension. Then we look at verse 41 to 66, he's speaking completely different. They said, come on, it couldn't be the same author. It is practically impossible. Now, they argued that the presentations of 1 to 40 and 40 to, uh, 41 to uh, 66 is, uh, is so distinct that it could, not be, have, it could not have been written by the same person. Well, you know, when you take you know, the time to study the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 to 40 actually speaks of judgment. Praise God. It speaks of God's judgment. It speaks of God's punishment uh, following the rebellious attitude of Israel. Are we together now? Now then, when you look at the remaining chapter 26, which is uh, 41 to uh, 66, uh, uh, the messianic of God was now, you know, coming to life. Mm. So he's like, how could you be talking about judgment just right now? And then you have switched to mercy and grace. Uh, praise be the name of the Lord. <laughs> Again, in chapter 1 to 40, he is dealing with judgment. Uh, now, for the sake of Bible reading, please, you must understand, or for the sake of Bible study, rather, you must understand that 40 is a number of judgment. 40 is a number of judgment, is a number of uh, testing, is a number of trials, a number of, uh, uh, a number of, uh, uh, of, uh, of, of, of uh, probation, you know. It is so, you know, consequential in this regard uh, that the theologians, the theologians affirmed furthermore that these two books must have been written by different authors. This one chapter must have been written by different authors, praise God. Now, but what they fail to take into account is that, uh, that God can use a vessel today, praise God, uh, you know, in one direction. And then God can still use that same vessel to do something else tomorrow. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. I love God. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, when you think that you have now locked God into your mind, God moved into something, into a new dimension. That is the reason why yeah, there's no way you can know every bit of God. Uh, praise be the name of the Almighty God. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, oftentimes God will anoint you, you know, uh, you know, to do what He wants you to do. Uh, praise God, not what you want to do. I would together here. God anoints you for His own plan. He doesn't anoint you for your plan. Mm -hmm. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. <laughs> A study had shown that Isaiah prophesied to four kings, if not five of, if, if not five kings. Praise God. Study have shown that to us, but clearly Isaiah prophesied in the reign of Uzziah. Are we together now? And he also prophesied in the reign of Jotham. Praise God. He prophesied in the in the reign of Ahaz and also in the reign of Hezekiah. We all know that uh, because you want, you will remember, you know, when uh, uh, as you know, Ezekiah was told by Isaiah, uh, put your house in order, you know, because you are coming to glory. <laughs> Praise God. Isaiah, the Bible says, uh, the Bible says, uh, Ezekiah turned his eyes to the wall and began to petition God and said to God, God, I've done this, I've done that. 
I've done this, I've done that, and I've done this. Look at my CV. I've served you faithfully. I've worked with you. Matter of fact, I see I have some things I would like to really do, you know. Uh, could you kindly give me more time? Praise God. And now, Isaiah, you know, Hezekiah, you know, petitioned God and prayed that God should give him more time. Follow me carefully, please. Now, God was going to take Hezekiah out at the age of 39. But Isaiah said, please, God, I need more time. Praise God. Then you can you remember the story. Now, God have to stop, you know, stop Isaiah. Say, Isaiah, please go back to Hezekiah and tell him I've given him 15 more years to leave. Now we say that we see now when we hear things like that, you know, we are elated and then uh, we know we are happy to say, Well, praise be the name of the Lord. What a testimony, praise God. So now Isaiah, Ezekiel now, you know, Ezekiah now has been given 15 more years. But please, you must understand that, uh, uh, you know. But in, in that 15 years, uh, he had a son called Manasseh. Praise God. Now, this is supposed to be the grace year of 15. And now, he's got a son now, uh, which he didn't have before, praise God. Now, within this within this 15 years, uh, he's given birth to a child called Manasseh. Please, you must understand that Manasseh became the worst king ever that Israel ever had. Manasseh, you know, reversed the uh, the controlling reform of his father, you know, uh, Hezekiah. He, you know, he reestablished, you know, you know, uh, a local shrine. You know, he, I mean, he went hundred percent opposite from his father's, you know, understanding, from his father's faith, and from his father's direction. Praise God. Uh, he reintroduced the worship of Baal and Asherah, you know, into the temple of God. Not only did he desecrate the temple of God, he also approved of Assyrian, you know, Astra courts, you know, through Judah. Praise God. Uh, you know, he, he messed up the whole faith. Uh, and destroy the entire city with idolatry. Uh, you know, it is an uh, it, it is uh, you know it is interesting. It's an interesting dynamic when you look at it. Uh, you know that uh, uh, sometimes we ask God for something. Uh, you know, based on His permissive will, praise God, uh, and God grants it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you see, uh, but I would rather be in God's divine will than to be in His permissive will. Why? Because if you ask God for his permissive will and God grants you his permissive will, child of God, in the course of his permissive will, all kinds of things can follow. But if you are in his divine will, nothing can come against that. Thank you, Father God. So when you pray, don't ask God for his permission. Ask God for his divine because when we operate within his divine will, there is nothing that can stop you from what God has ordained you to become. Uh, the quality of life in Israel, you know, predicate on believing in God and nothing else and walking in his principles. Are we together now? Now, Israel operates in theocracy. Are we together here? Uh, in, you know, in theocracy, you know, God rules. Praise God. Now, in democracy, the people choose, praise God. In monarchy, ladies and gentlemen, the king decides. Uh -huh. Now, in autocracy, the individual, whoever is in charge, be it president or you know, uh, prime minister, decides. I uh, were together here. But Israel was in theocracy, praise God. Now... But in theocracy, it is God who decides. Now, in theocracy, if you don't worship God or follow God in theocracy, then, uh, you know, you are exposed to all kinds of evil. Now, anytime you walk away from God and you don't walk according to his will, then terrible things happen. Uh, the devil is a liar. Uh, you cannot ignore God and expect God, you know, and expect good things uh, to follow you or follow your life or to happen in your life. Uh, it is not that God will order negative. No. Uh, the moment God is not part of your plan and purpose, uh, automatically it opens doors uh, for negativity. 
Praise be the name of the Lord. So goodness and mercy shall follow me, the Bible says, all the days of my life. Why is that? Because I dwell in the house of the Lord. That is why goodness and mercy follows me. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, my blessing is not dependent on my own ability. No, my blessings is contingent, you know, in where I dwell. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. Help me ask your neighbor, where do you dwell? Oh, anytime you, anytime you don't, uh, you want to find out where you dwell uh, or, what is, or, or what is going on in your life, uh, look at where you are dwelling. Look at who you are with. Look at who is in your company. Praise God. If confusion and mess is following you, uh, check who is with you. Uh, check who is, you know, who is your covering. Are we together now? Because if you dwell in the house of God, uh, goodness and mercy shall follow you. Praise be the name of the almighty God. So Isaiah now is defending God. So, you know, so, intric um, so, so intensely. He, he declared in Isaiah chapter 7, uh, he said, is it, is it, is it a, a small thing for you to weary men? But must you weary God also? <laughs> uh, the life in Israel has become so deplorable, particularly in the theocratic government. Uh, now, the system had crumbled completely because uh, there, is no so, there is no substitute uh, you know, to following the will of God. You either follow the will of God or you follow your will. This is the reason why we look, we look at the account in the Old Testament. The Old Testament, uh, when, it, when, when the prophet gives a prophecy, and the prophet does not come to pass. What they do, they bring the prophet to the wall of the city. They stone the prophet to death. Why? Because uh, there is no room for errors. There are no room for errors. Praise God. Uh, but today, people give all sort of prophecies. They will tell you, this is a year of this. Then come December, nothing happened. Nobody asks a question. Then in January, they pick up another prophecy. Praise God. And they just keep running from one, you know what I mean? It becomes a tradition. It becomes a, you know, a religious practice. Praise be the name of the almighty God. Uh, now you see, because God don't feed your flesh, God feeds your spirit. Praise God. Uh, if you are not following the will of God, uh, you, are, you are in serious trouble. Now, there, you know, there was injustice in the city. There was oppression of all sorts. Uh, there was uh, covetous, covetousness. There was, there was uh, insatiable sensuality. You know, there was pride, uh, self, and all kind of stuff. So what Isaiah said was, the faithful city of God has become a place of harlot. So Isaiah was so frustrated. Praise God. The nation is sinful, he says, and the people are lying with iniquity, uh, producing seed of evildoers. Uh, children are corruptors. Uh, nations fall uh, into all kinds of hypocrisy. Uh, then he said, they draw near to the Lord, and the name of the Lord is on their lips, but their heart is far from God. Uh, and when we look at Isaiah 30 verse 9, uh, he said, there are rebellious people, uh, lying children that will not hear the promises or the law of the living God. Now, there is no avoidance of God's judgment. So when you look at our, war, our, our world today, Satan cannot destroy the church from the, out, from, from, from the outside. Satan cannot destroy the church from the outside. Practically impossible. Praise God. He can. Bible says, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Amen. But what, the, what Satan does is this, praise God. Uh, Satan, you know, what Satan does, uh, you know, uh, he cannot destroy the church from the outside, uh, but he contaminates us from the inside. He contaminates us from the inside, praise God. And then began to destroy us from the inside out. The devil is a liar. Then he accuses us to God and say, God, your rules, your principles, your laws. Look at your children. They are not following it. Now, what are you going to do with your holiness? So he accuses us to God and then come to us and say, you know what? You don't merit or well, you're not worthy to be a child of God. Because why? He's the accuser of the brethren. Praise God. 
The church can never be destroyed from the outside. It can only be destroyed from the inside. Uh, yeah. uh, Jesus was teaching in the, in the book of Matthew 12, 26. Praise God. In other words, you know, Matthew 12, 26. He said, uh, he said, he said the, the, the kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. Uh, let, let us see that scripture, please. Put it up. You know, uh, now, uh, Matthew 12, 26. Matthew 12. Thank you. And if, no, yeah, he said, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. Now shall then his kingdom stand. Is if Satan cast out Satan. Now, the kingdom of Satan is not divided against itself. Praise God. Let's see 25 now, verse 25. So let's backward, just one verse backward. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to dissolution. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Praise God. Now, this were the church fighting Jesus from the inside. Are we together now? So the, the, so the, the devil cannot destroy the church from the external. But he does that from the internal. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know? And here is a preacher, praise God, uh, who is preaching to the people, you know, of God that they are not listening to Isaiah. You know, and what the devil does so well is, uh, you know, he infiltrates us from the inside and he makes us to fight ourselves. Pick an offense with you. You pick an offense with her. And then we are fighting ourselves on the inside. Praise God. And there are all, all kinds of division and all kinds of convolution, all kinds of uh, issues, you know, petty issues and all of that going on within ourselves. The devil is a liar. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. So Isaiah was preaching to them, but they were not listening to Isaiah. You know, he's presenting the word of God. They are hearing it, but their heart is not connected. Mm. Now, Isaiah was getting so frustrated, praise God. Then God said to Isaiah, Lay on one side naked for six months. He said, be naked and lay on one side for six months. When Isaiah came out of that experience, God said to him again, lay on the other side naked for another six months. That's one year. And I, when Isaiah came out of that experience, he said to God, uh, what this minute, God said, this is how the nakedness of Israel will be exposed. Oh, Jesus, help me, Lord. Mm. Uh, the moment you take the world, the world, W-O-R-L-D, the world, and swap it with the word of God, uh, you are in trouble. Yeah, the devil is a liar. Praise God. This is how naked Israel will be, he said. Now, the frustration of speaking to a, good, a group of people, praise God, uh, you know, now, let me, ask, let me ask us a question. How many of us have got children here? Uh, bless God. Now imagine you are telling your children, based on your life experience, don't do this. Don't do that. Put it this way. Go like this and all of that. You know the counsel you are giving them is right. And they don't take any of them. They don't listen to you. And sometimes you are wondering, don't repeat my errors. Don't repeat my mistakes. Please go, do it this way. And they don't listen to you. Praise God. This was exactly the account that Isaiah was caught with when he went with the, with, the East, with the children of Israel. Glory to God. Mm, thank you, Father God. So one of the most difficult things that Isaiah had to deal with was that God had him speaking to people that would not listen. People that would not listen to him. Glory to God. Uh, a man of God preached one message some years ago. He said, haven't you heard enough? Haven't you heard enough? We hear the word every week. We read our Bible in our homes. Praise God. But the question is, is our lives really transforming? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, the frustration was heavy, so bad, that God had to say to Isaiah. And God now translated Isaiah into the future. Uh, and gave him a prophetic word about the messianic promise. And God said to him, don't worry now. I'm moving you far away from Israel. You are not just only going to be a prophet of Israel. Now, but you're going to become a prophet of the world. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. So God, God transcended Isaiah 
from the contemporary environment of Israel and projected him into the future, praise God. That's why Isaiah's, Isaiah is referred to as the eagle's eye. He's referred to as the eagle's eye. Why? Because he could see far beyond into the future and he was able to see everything about redemption. Oh, praise be the name of the almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father God. So God sent him into the future and gave him Isaiah 53. Praise God, which is our test today. Now, God took him out of the present because uh, uh, Babylon and Nebuchadnezzar was on its way. <laughs> uh, he sent him to the future with the messianic presentation of Jesus Christ. Uh, in other words, uh, Isaiah, since, you know, they will not listen to me, praise God, uh, I will project you into the world. You know, sometimes, uh, and sometimes the challenge you face trying to, you know, walk within or trying to walk within a small, a small scale, that challenge sometimes unleashes you into a bigger opportunity. So God has to break the barriers. I see God breaking barriers. Wherever that's limited you this far, I see God breaking that barriers. You know, there are some people right now, they knew you five years ago, and they've come to the conclusion, you can always be like this. The devil is a liar. That barrier is coming down. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, sometimes you look at your bank account. Ah, when am I going to hit? You are hitting it. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Limitations are lifted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. So now, God projected Isaiah into the future to see beyond, you know, Israel. Thank you, Father God. Now, child of God, nobody can limit your ministry when God has anointed you. Nobody. No devil, no demon. Nobody can. Nobody can stop you from moving into another level when God has your back. Praise God. Nobody can stop that. Uh, everything that was done to Isaiah broke loose when he had the glimpse to see everything about Christ. Glory to God. Uh, the only thing the enemy can do for you, praise God, uh, is to, you know, uh, the only thing the enemy can do is to bless you. Bible says, in the presence of my enemies, God give me a banquet. Praise God. God gave me a feast. Hallelujah. God anointed my head with oil in the presence of my enemies. Oftentimes, you want to run from your enemies. God is saying, no, it's not time to run. In their presence, I will bless you. And they can do nothing about it. In the mighty name of Jesus. You must understand that God put a special anointing on your life. Praise God. When, you, when, you know, when people try to want to stop you, God put a special anointing, a special grace upon your life. When people try to defile and to destroy and to damage what God has put in your hand to do. When God has put something in your hand to do, it attracts enemies. Child of God, the anointing attracts both the good and the evil. Both the good and the evil, praise God. But the good news is, it doesn't matter how much evil it attracts, it can't stop you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Nobody can stop you when God has anointed you. It doesn't matter how much, how far, or how deep they go about it. Uh, nobody can stop you when God uh, has given you direction. Are we together here? When you walk in accordance, or in accordance, uh, you know, uh, of the dictate of God, uh, no devil can stop you. No evil can stop you. Praise God. Uh, then all victory shall be yours. Praise God. No devil can stop you. I'll be coming to close very, very soon. God pushed Isaiah, all the way into Jesus Christ. God, God showed Isaiah the event at Gethsemane. <laughs> God, I thank you, Holy Spirit. And showed him the, sacrifice, the sacrifices that Jesus had to go through. And even the prayers he had to pray while at Gethsemane. God showed everything to Isaiah. Praise God. Child of God, you have to get, your, you have to get on your knees for your next level. For your next level, you got to get on your knees. Whenever God is going, God is moving you to the next level, praise God. And, and he's moving you through situations and all kinds of ordeals. Uh, you know, where sacrifice or sacrifices is required. You have to make time for God. You have to make time for God. I tell people, 
even if it's five minutes every day, take that five minutes diligently and pray your way through. You don't have to pray for two, three, five hours. Bible says the prayer of a righteous man avails much. You know what you do sometimes? You want to pray in your own righteousness. When you go into prayer in your own righteousness, you fail. Go into prayer with his righteousness. Praise God. You know, I've come in the righteousness that I've received by Christ Jesus. And that the devil cannot stop. When you go to prayer, the devil is trying to play on your mind. You are you have to pray. You that you know you, you know you lied yesterday. You did that yesterday. Oh, goodness, Father, forgive me. No, 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 no. You go into God with his righteousness. Praise be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So God does not break you to bless you. God bless you first before he breaks you. And you know what? God breaks you. If he breaks you twice, you can only feed two. If he breaks you three into three, you can only reach three people. So if God breaks you multiple times, then you can reach more people. Praise God. And oftentimes you will say, God, I've gone through too much. Uh, God is saying, well, you may have gone through too much, but it's not enough to go around. It's not enough to go around. I still need to break you more. Uh, when you look back right now, there are lives you have touched. There are people you've been a blessing to. Why? Because he has broken you into pieces. And check it out. Most times, the people you help the most, they are the ones that treat you badly. The ones you sacrifice for the most are the ones that come against you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because why? God has to break you to be able to feed you round to other people. So what God does that he blesses you, then he breaks you. 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 Why? Because he wants to take you round as many as possible. Praise God. Uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, thank you, Jesus. So that's why God took Isaiah into the future and to, and, to, and, to, and to see Gethsemane. See the account of Gethsemane. Jesus praying in Gethsemane, dealing with the conflict of what he is going through and what he has to do. The conflicts of what he is going through and what he has to do. Praise God. He was in Gethsemane and said, God, if it is possible, let this cup pass over. Let this cup pass over me. <laughs> here, we, here we see divinity and humanity in conflict. Oh, praise God. Here is God who knows everything, but he's limited due to his humanity. Uh, here is God the Almighty, who is uh, the omniscient, uh, uh, but is limited you know, to a body uh, that is limited in knowledge. Praise God. Here is God, uh, praise God, uh, who is everywhere. Are we together now? Uh, but he is but he's, but he's in a body that is limited to a particular location. This is God. He is everywhere in his divinity, but he's somewhere in his humanity. Everywhere in his divinity, but he's limited to one place in his humanity, praise God. Uh, he's powerful in his divinity, he's the almighty God. But in his humility, praise God, in his humanity, he has to, as, he has to succumb to what the flesh demands to be able to sacrifice. Mm. You must understand that Jesus had to go to the cross as 100% human. 0% God. He is the father of all, holding the world together. But yet, he has to go to the cross. This is why I came to the conclusion uh, that the reason I am saved is because uh, he gave it all. Praise be the name of the Lord. Uh, the hope I have is because Jesus gave everything. <laughs> oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Even when I hear that people are ganging up against me, uh, doing all kinds of things, uh, I am not pissed up. Why? Because uh, he gave it all. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. Uh, he is my Lord and my God. Uh, yet he went to the cross for me. Uh, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, I would rather serve a God uh, who cares about me so much uh, and placed so much value on me uh, and died for me, praise God, uh, than serve some kind of God uh, 
uh, whom, whom their bones are still tied uh, into the womb, and, uh, in, 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 into the grave, uh, to the point whereby the archaeologists today uh, are brushing their bones and trying to figure out uh, whose bone is this. Uh, I'm a child of the living God. Uh, praise be the name of the almighty God. Uh, you can't find the bones of my father. <laughs> you can't find the bones of my savior. <laughs> you can't find the bones of my Lord. Uh, why? Because he rose triumphantly. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm not serving no confused God. I'm a child of the living God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the ancient of days, the lily of the valley. He is God by his God all by himself. Praise be the name of the Lord. As I close, beloved, the Bible says that the Bible says uh, that uh, uh, I, you know that man was lost and God said to himself I need to save man praise God and the moment he came to that conclusion he said to himself prepare me a body praise be the name of the Lord because you must understand that the body was needed to be able to go through all kinds of sacrifice now in his body is the burnt offering in that same body is a sacrifice is, 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 in that same body is a burnt offering and the sacrificial lamb praise be the name of the lord oh thank you holy spirit in one body ladies and gentlemen he fulfilled the requirement of the levite oh thank you holy spirit and jesus now came and as soon as he went through that he showed up in the womb of mary oh praise god and everything herod tried to do to stop the divinity it, it did not work because it was my savior in motion Praise be the name of the Almighty God. Now Jesus, you know, was taken, you know, uh, right at the right at Gethsemane. He came to Gethsemane and he began to pray. Why he was praying? He said to his disciples, "Tarry with me a little longer." But they couldn't hold properly because they were tired. Praise God. And the Bible then said he continued. Please must understand that they came and they arrested our Lord and our Savior, Christ Jesus. Oh, praise God. And as soon as they arrested him, ladies and gentlemen, and they took him, Bible says they marched him through all the court at night. Praise God. They took him to Herod's court and then took him to Pilate and they brought him back to Herod. Why? Because Pilate had to make a decision for him to be killed. Herod couldn't make that decision. Praise be the name of the Lord. And everything they did, and they stand and then Pilate said to him, You know, I can save you. He said, you cannot. Praise God. That power is not given to you. Are you listening to me now? And why on that discussion? After which, Pilate said, you know what? I find no fault with this man. Praise be the name of the Lord. Let him go. Praise God. Because they see the whole thing as a kind of confusion. And they were trying to avoid falling into the hands of the people. Praise God. And after everything that they've done, and they came to the conclusion, okay, you can kill him. A matter of fact, bring him to the people with Barabbas and see those who are, who are, and see if the people want him or not. And the pilot wash his hands. Oh, thank you Holy Spirit. After everything that they've done, child of the living God, God, now Jesus looked at them and he said, these ones are dead. They don't know what they're dealing with. You are dealing with God. Praise be the name of the Lord. But you see, God see you and I in Barabbas. Barabbas was a criminal. It was everything that the law was against. Praise God. Why Jesus was everything to reverse the law and the judgment. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, as soon as Jesus was now judged, I said, well, take him to the cross and get him crucified. Oh, the devil is a lion. Now, they took Jesus. They nailed him to the cross. Child of the living God, when they nailed his hands, it destroyed the media nerve. The moment he destroyed the media nerve, ladies and gentlemen, that hand went into a claw. And I remember the word of the living God. He said, no man shall be able to pluck them out of my hands. Are you listening to me now? And they tell to me that even when Jesus died, 
died. He died, held him, holding me in a death grip. Praise be the name of the Lord. This is the reason why I go to bed, knowing that whatever the enemy does all through the night, it is not going to stand because I am in his hands. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. And the Bible then makes us understand that he put a nail in his foot, and that nail went through the paranoia nerve. Are you listening to me now? When he went to the paranoia nerve, ladies and gentlemen, when Jesus breathed, he sends fire round about him. The fire went across him like the cross. Praise God. And that reminds me that he has been to hell for me not to go to hell. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. Are you listening to me now? When I back up a little bit, Bible says that Jesus was in Gethsemane. He was, pre he was praying profusely. The more he prays, everything is in his body got confused. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. The blood was coming out out of his out of his sweat gland. That blood is known, you know, ladies and gentlemen. The blood is known as hemohydrosis. Hemohydrosis means that the body is confused. Do I bring out water or do I bring out blood? Oh Jesus, help me, Lord. The body was confused so much into confusion that he began to bring out blood, thinking he was bringing out water. Are you listening to me now? Jesus had to go through everything. That's why Isaiah declared that he was of no recognition. Praise be the name of the Lord. And Jesus was nailed on the cross. As he's breathing, the fire was going around his body. Child of the living God, I've come to declare to you, I have no business with hell. Why? Because Jesus died for me. Jesus has been to hell that I've got no business with hell. Praise be the name of the Lord. I'm a child of the living God. I am loved. I am sequestered by his love. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. So Jesus set you and I free on the predications of his blood. Praise be the name of the Lord. This is not the blood of the pool. This is not the blood of the lamb. This is not the blood of the goat. This is the blood, a pure blood that the devil even cannot contend. Are you listening to me now? So I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what you're dealing with now. The blood of Jesus speaks. It speaks. That blood is powerful to set you free and put the devil to run. There's nothing the devil could have done can do to stop you. Because you are bought by the blood. Today we are preaching all kinds of things in churches. We are preaching money, prosperity. When I bring a better car, it's like I said, I'm blessed than you are. We have become so carnal. And we have taken our eyes off the goal, the blood of Jesus. I am who I am because of the blood. I am who I am because of the blood. My victory is based on the blood. We see believers, churches, we see Christians today. Due to one challenge or the other, they are looking for all kinds of people in the name of prophet. Some are ending up in the home, in the home of herbalists. Because you're looking for safety. You leave safety into trouble. The devil is a liar. Everything is done in Christ Jesus. If you know Christ, you know that there's nothing the world can bring against you that is designed to stand. That is designed to stand. Because we will become what we hear. What you hear and hear and hear, you'll become it. Oh, God, help me, Lord. You will gradually become what you are hearing. Today, nobody wants to hear the truth. Child of God, the truth is in the fact that there's nothing that you are seeking that is out of God. That is the truth. Christ finished everything and left nothing undone. There's no stone unturned. Everything was turned. The blood finished everything. Because when you listen to lies, you begin to respond to lies. Everything. That's the reason why if we truly understand Christ, I've got nothing to be proud about but Jesus Christ. Nothing else. My pride is in the finished work of redemption. My pride. is on the, Our pride is not on the suit we are wearing. Our pride is on the car that we are buying, that we are driving. 
Our pride is on the how many houses, how much we have in our bank account. No! Our pride is in what Christ has done. What Christ has done. What Christ has done. The reason why our attitude is changing in church and even towards the world is because our mind is so soaked in what we think that we have achieved. But what we have achieved in the real sense is victory in the finished work of redemption. Praise God. <coughs> Hallelujah. I want you to understand that there's nothing the devil can do with you. Nothing. I, look at it, I was looking at a documentary the other day. And I was looking at the lions, the strategic move which we they go against their prey. What the lion does, because the lions move in families. When they come out, they will first of all look at the whole, maybe, they, maybe they're looking at the buffalo. Buffalo move, they move in convoy. What they do, two lions will go that way. Two like that. Maybe three. And they, just, they will just run in different direction. And then the buffaloes, are, they will be scattered. And they will not, after later, someone, they will not come together. Then one will be completely isolated. Now the one that goes, the one that is isolated, the whole lion, not all of them will not go against it. They will not leave the whole multitude and go against one. You see? Why? Because that one that has been isolated right now have no covering. Glory to God. And this is the reason why we have to understand. You know, when Jesus said, I'm going after the one lamb that is missing. And they said to him, why are you going after the one? We have 99. Now that's a business mind. Lose one and have 99. But God said, no, I'm going after that one. Christ value you that much. He values you that much that he will not let you go. So don't let the devil lie to you. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He died for you and I. He bled and died. He went through everything, my God, to set you and I free. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We are free in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God in heaven. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. The blood. Thank you, Jesus. I plead in the blood of Jesus. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus sets us free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set us free, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus sets us free oh, from sin and sorrow. The blood. If you are sick, begin to Jesus talk to God about that sickness. The Bible says, "By the stripes the of blood Jesus Christ, we are made whole." The, the blood of Jesus, Jesus set us free the from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set us free. Oh, the blood of Jesus. From sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set us free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set us free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set us free. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus sets us free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set us free. Amen. You know, when Jesus 
Lord. was making his way to oh, Jerusalem. Praise Jesus. God. Hallelujah. When Jesus was making his way to Jerusalem, he said they should borrow a donkey for him. He got on the donkey all together here. And he began to bring himself into Jerusalem on the donkey. Everybody went and began to cut leaves and Palm Sunday, like as you would call it. And they were jubilating that Christ had come. But what they failed to understand is that Jesus was fulfilling scriptures. Because when you go back to the old accounts, the lamb to be slain is brought to the place where it to be sacrificed days before the sacrifice, the sacrifice takes place. Matter of fact, it's 14 days. You know? Now, the 10 days, they, 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 they use 10 days to take it round. But on the, the fourth day is the day that the process began. So when Jesus came into Jerusalem and they were celebrating, say, Palm Sunday, what Jesus was doing, he has brought himself to be killed. To be sacrificed. Sometimes we make traditions and we lose the revelation entirely. And Jesus submitted himself willingly. That's why I said that's why I said that willingly I lay my life down and I can pick it up whenever I choose. Glory to God. I want you to understand that there's so much value on your life. Sometimes we spend so much hours. We want to pray like two, three, four, five hours. Oh, I'm a praying machine, but you don't have the revelation. You can pray 10 minutes prayer, but if you have the revelation, oh my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Matthew 26, and they said, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it. This is a representation of the body of Christ. As a, as a, a representation. What it does for us is this. We remember how his body went through brokenness. Isaiah said, it's so broken that is of no recognition that anybody, anybody would desire Praise God. Bible says he took the bread, bless it, and he break it. And that's why we break it. That our life is not broken. Our homes are not broken. The lives of our children is not broken. Our finances are not broken. Our health is not broken. Our goodness and our coming in is not broken. Uh, our, every day of our life is not broken. Our expectations are not broken. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Bible says, give it to the disciples. Say, take it. This is my body. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. And he took the cup. We bring our lives under the blood. Our homes, our children, our career, our businesses under the blood. Our going out and our coming in under the blood. Our names by which we are known, we bring under the blood. Our morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we bring under the blood. For every battle that is up against us, we bring under the blood. For every challenge or challenges, we bring them under the blood of Jesus. The blood, Bible says, he speak better things than the blood of Abel. Oh, shata, ribondo, soprahalende, sokondo bahaya. Oh, thank you, Father God. All that concerns us, we bring under the blood. Our consciousness, even when we are asleep, unconscious, we bring under the blood. That the blood of Jesus speak for us at every gate of life. The blood of Jesus speak for us at every gathering. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where men sit down to discuss us, the blood of Jesus speak on our behalf. Child of God, there is no greater sacrifice than this. There are no greater sacrifice than this. There are no greater sacrifice than this. I don't care. Let them carry human beings to sacrifice. It's not greater than this. Oh, thank you, Father God. No greater sacrifice. No greater sacrifice. No greater sacrifice. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever, whatever is being done, be it in the dark or in the in the light, the blood of Jesus speaks.
speak on our behalf. Korondos. Shande kondo baha. Every sickness of any kind. The Bible says, by the stripes of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are made well. We are made whole. Oh, my Korea Labande. Every satanic arrangement, they are terminated. Every satanic gathering, they are scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil plot of any kind, it cannot stand. Why? The blood of Jesus speak on our behalf. Bible says, and he took the cup and he gave thanks and said, take saying, drink ye all of it. This is the blood of the New Testament, New Covenant. In other words, this is way beyond what the blood of lambs can do. The blood of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We take this as we celebrate our victory in remembrance of what Christ has done for us. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen! Oh God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh Shanti Bohoto Shatabaya. Have you seen what the Lord has done? He has, he has destroyed, destroyed the, works the works of Satan. Of Satan. He, he has, has given us the victory. That's why we sing. Oh say. <laughs> Have you, you heard what the Lord has done? He, he has, has destroyed, destroyed the works of Satan. Satan. Yeah. He, he has, has given us the victory. That's why we we'll sing. Oh, say yeah. Oh, say yeah. Oh, say yeah. We don't win, no. Oh, say yeah. Say, oh, say yeah. Come on. Hey. We don't win, no. Oh, you lift my Jesus higher, lift him. Say higher, 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 lift him. Say lift my Jesus higher. Higher, higher, higher. Lift him higher. Say lift my Jesus higher. Higher, higher, higher. We shall continually lift the name of the Lord higher in the name of Jesus. Shall we just stretch forth our hands to our pastor and begin to decree that this shall be the list of grace and anointing that shall be multiplied in the name of Jesus. As he's given his all that the Lord will replenish in the name of Jesus. Wisdom from heaven that whatever he says shall be ordained of God in the name of Jesus. That his tongue will turn to the coal of fire to declare and to declare in the name of Jesus. That there shall be testimonies of every word spoken in the name of Jesus. That his words will not fall to the ground because Jehovah will back it up in the name of Jesus. And like Isaiah, he will see into the future and begin to see greater things that no man has seen before in the name of Jesus. So shall he be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody blessed, shout hallelujah. If you have been blessed by that word, shout hallelujah. Give God the praise that he deserves. No, I said give God the praise that he deserves. So say, I said give God the praise that he deserves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor said, Jesus gave it all. And this afternoon, what I'm here to say to you is that I'm not here to cajole you, but to let you know the giver deserves your giving. Hallelujah. The giver deserves your giving in the name of Jesus. And if you look at the account of this young man that gave Jesus five loaves of bread and two fish, the truth is that he gave his all. And most of the time, when we talk about this particular account, we think about the miracle. But this afternoon, I'm here to tell you that let's look at this account from the perspective of the boy. Not the miracle. Not the disciples. But the boy. Because the, the disciples even didn't give their all. But this boy gave up all. So as the same way Jesus gave all, this afternoon, wherever you are online, 
we are here to just let you know that the giver deserves your giving. Because the truth is this. This boy had no name mentioned. But the act that he did is in memorial. So that means it's not the little that you give. It is the heart that has given it. Secondly, this boy saw with his eyes the miracle. That means in that small giving, five loaves, he was seeing it be multiplied. There is nothing that you give to God that you don't see it multiply. And the truth is this, that he trusted God enough. Who knows whether the boy was hungry. But he trusted God enough to give that food, believing God that he will not go hungry. It is my prayer that whatever you do this afternoon in your giving, you will not go hungry in the name of Jesus. Some people will say that you are talking about bread, but sometimes the bread can meet your time. The time you give to God is a sacrifice. Cleaning the church is a sacrifice. Even sharing on Facebook is a sacrifice. So what that means is this. Whatever you do in the house of God is your giving. And if you have nothing this afternoon, please dance. Shall we rise? The bread of life himself can give you food. The bread of life can provide for you. Quiet. The bread of life can do what no man can do. So don't just give this afternoon. Give with a purpose. Give with a purpose. And uh, pastor, can I share just one quick testimony? Well, I went to, I went outside to get money from the cash point. And a man saw me. He said, Please, are you from the church? And I was, I was a bit wary because the guy was quite big. I wasn't sure whether this guy wouldn't deal with me. <laughs> so I, I, said, I, said, I said yes. Then he said something. Are you from that church? I said there are two churches there. Which one? He said, from that church. I said yes. He said, I am hungry. Now, the amount I wanted to take from the cash point, I had to double it. But when I gave him this money, he was so shocked. Because whatever you might think that Gaga has prayed about, the answer was met. That's right. That's right. Unknowingly. So what that means is this. As you are thinking over the week, how would God meet my need? God is actually preparing somebody. The Bible says the king could not sleep. That means whoever has your miracle, is not at rest at the moment. Because heaven will answer you. So shall it be. Lift up your offering to the Lord. And bless it. Bless it. The account is on the screen. Wherever you are, give unto the Lord. Not to man. Father, I cast my bread upon waters and I decree shall come in multiple folds. In the name of Jesus, my giving will not be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. My seed will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. It shall come as a harvest in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Say water, you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Everybody jumps into the darkness. You shine. Out of the harshest we rise, there's no one like you, no one like you, yeah, no one like you. Say, how God is greater, how God is greater. Let me hear you. 
Lord, you are. Now, let me your hands together. Jump 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 your hands together. Hey, you don't make me want to. Yeah. You don't make me want to. Baba. I wonder, 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 I'm walking in victory. I live a life of favor. Come on, walking in power. I'm walking in victory. Come on, come on, come on. I know who I am. I'm walking in the Come on, I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I'm living a life. Come on, good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 
Sure, they have started. Bravito! Bravito! <laughs> Praise the Lord! I see you from distance. Help me celebrating. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Because I can, I'm going to see Sister Stella now. I'm going to walk through now. Hallelujah. 
You know, the other eyes, I'm seeing everybody. Amen. Amen. Please, our first timers, don't run. I'm certain that the hospitalities and the ushers, they have something for you. Amen. Amen. Try not to miss Bible studies, please. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Can we stand? Begin to appreciate God. Listen, brethren, you are a prophet of your own. Whatever you say, heaven honors it. Begin to thank God for your life. Begin to command your weak. The favor of God upon you. Upon your home, upon your children. Upon everything that you lay your hands to do. Begin to command the doors of favor to open unto you this way. My Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you have done in our lives. Daddy, we believe in you. Thank you. We appreciate you for saving our life. Thank you for coming to lay yourself down for us, for sacrificing yourself for us. Daddy, we appreciate you. We never take it for granted. Father, in the name of Jesus, we speak that as we go into this week, favor will envelop us. Joy will envelop us. Your blessings will envelop us. In the name of Jesus, we decree that this month of April, from the four gates of this world, will favor us. From the south, favor. From the north, favor. From the west, favor. From the east, favor. We decree and we declare that whatever heaven has not made available unto us this month, we will not receive it. In the name of Jesus, every evil plot of the enemies shall not come to our dwelling. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, as our children prepare to go back to school, Father, be with them. Protect them, guide them, the ones getting ready for their GCSE exams. Father, we ask of God that you empower them in the name of Jesus. Give them retentive memory, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we ask of God that when we convey back here again next week, we'll come back in good health, with testimonies, with joy, in Jesus' powerful mighty name we pray. And so we declare. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from law and sin and death. Sin shall not have dominion over us. Death shall not have dominion over us. For the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead Dwell inside the force and a quicken arm of our bodies to the glory of his holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Brethren, if we have our sisters, our brothers that are not here, please check upon them. And also, just a quick announcement. Due to GDPR, if you're on the platform, 